Not so long ago, it was very difficult to put General Motors and Leading Edge in the same sentence. That, however, has been changing of late. There's a 638 horsepower Corvette, a very good dual mode hybrid system, and of course, the Chevrolet Volts on the horizon. On this edition of Test Drive, the Chevrolet Cruze. For years, Chevrolet flogged the Cobalt as its compact offering. The drawback with this car was simple. It was so long in the tooth, it was desperately in need of replacement. The Cruze addresses things very effectively. It rides on a longest 2685 mm wheelbase, and it has width. The combination delivers a sense of substance and an overall solidity to its drive that's a rare find at the affordable end of the price ladder. In this regard, it's a great family car that will find many fans. Another of the Cruise's highlights, especially if you go with the LTZ Turbo, is the manner in which the cabin has been finished off. You get all the power toys you want, automatic climate control, very nice leather seats, and a top-notch Pioneer sound system with nine very loud and proud speakers. It really is a marked departure from General Motors products of just a couple of years ago. Two very different engines provide the cruise's motivation. The base 1.8 liter naturally aspirated Ford delivers 138 horsepower and 129 pound feet of torque at 3,800 RPM. While more than adequate for most eventualities, it lacks the driving crispness of the up level engine. The turbocharged engine is such that it puts 100k on the clock in 9.5 seconds and it turns the more important 80 to 120 trick in 7.6 seconds. One of the highlights of this new cruise is its new Ecotech engine. It delivers the best of both worlds and it's a trendsetter. Instead of using the traditional large displacement 4, it uses a much smaller engine. 1.4 litres in this case, but then supplements it with a turbocharger. That, as I say, gives you the best of both worlds. On the one hand, 148 pound-feet of torque at 1,850 RPM. That gives you the turn of speed you want. On the flip side, when you're cruising the highway, this thing sips just 5.5 litres per 100 kilometres. And that is stellar mileage for a non-hybrid vehicle. The tester arrived with a six-speed manumatic. It works well with the engine as the ratios bring good off-the-line performance and relaxed highway cruising. However, there's an anomaly. The transmission tends to stumble its way through the gears until things are fully warmed up. It puts a crimp in the overall sense of refinement. When you hop into the back seat, you'll find plenty of headroom and enough width for a couple of adults to sit in comfort. And as long as the driver and front passenger have got short 30 inch legs like mine, you get decent knee room. However, stick somebody that's six foot two up front and the leg room disappears in somewhat of a hurry. Where the cruise really makes a statement is the manner in which it handles. Its European heritage shines through in a very impressive manner. In fact, the driving feel is one of substance and control. On one hand, the suspension takes the sting out of a rough road, which delivers the demanded comfort. Conversely, unwanted body motion is limited to a few degrees. There is very little body roll through a fast corner and even less pitch and dive under hard braking or acceleration. Likewise, the steering feel is excellent. It is light at low speeds, yet communicative at higher speeds. In this regard, the cruise sets a high standard for the class. There's an awful lot to like about this new Chevy Cruze, especially its 1.4 litre turbocharged engine. It delivers both power and economy depending upon how you drive it. This car also handles very well, the cabin's been finished exceptionally well, and it starts at under $15,000. However, you can load this car up in a hurry. This vehicle, over $26,000, and that's not counting the NAV system and the appearance package. 